This is a quick demonstration of the basic loop setup and wire twisting process for Funace's in-ground pet fence. As you can see here for the demonstration, I've gone ahead and already pre-stripped the wire. Uh, so once you have this set up and you have the fence transmitter set up somewhere in the home, you're going to want to go ahead and begin measuring the wire. Uh, once you have the wire uh, length reaching the transmitter, you don't want to plug it in yet as as if when you're pulling the wire out for the rest of your boundary, you may damage the wire uh, during the twisting process or even during the setup process of your fence. The best way to get the wire out from your home is either through a window, under a door, through a crawl vent, or through a one inch drilled hole in the wall. So the first thing you're gonna wanna do is um, take a look at this image of the basic loop setup. And as you can see, the wire is twisted coming from the home to point A, and then it goes around the yard to point B, point C, point D, point E, and back to point A where the twisting process begins. So as you can see, it is a single wire. And as soon as you have that set up, um, as seen in the image, you're gonna go, wanna go ahead and bring the second wire back into the home, measure it so that you make sure you reach the fence transmitter, and then you can begin the twisting process for the safe area so that the dog can pass that portion of the yard. So when you begin twisting, you want your twist to happen at least one once every inch. Although if you go tighter, it does ensure a better um, cancellation of the signals, which is what the twisting of the wires does. So we're gonna go ahead and make sure this stays fairly tight. Now that I've completed the twisting process, I'm gonna go ahead and plug both ends of the wire into the unit. Make sure that these both go in. Okay, so I'm gonna move the transmitter away now so you can get a better view of where the twist and the wire end. And I'm gonna go ahead and bring in one of our collars here and start the test. So I'm gonna go ahead and turn on the unit. As you can see here, I'm not getting a signal yet with the twist as the twist does cancel out the signal. As soon as I get closer to a normal portion of the boundary wire, I do start getting a, getting a reaction from the collar. If I come back to the cancellation area, the collar stops reacting because we're in a safe area of the fence. And that's going to complete the demonstration of our basic loop setup and wire twisting process.